Hey everybody, Graham here, and welcome to the demo for Hyperpop. Uh, now, let me give you a little background on this game. Uh, I actually received this email a little bit ago from the developers asking me to check out the game and just show it off on the YouTube channel and provide some feedback for them. So, you know what? This has never happened before, and I'll bite. Let's see what this game's like. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is a demo. There will be some fun stuff, some annoying stuff, and some straight-up bugs. You can guide the game and with the Give Us Feedback button in the bottom right-hand corner. So, nice that they're actively looking for feedback. Alright, uh, right mouse... Okay, so you click the right mouse button to move. And it looks like you mouse over the enemies to attack them. That's... kind of interesting. Now, one of the things they did say is that it's... Inspired by Cookie Clicker, in addition to Vampire Survivors. So I guess with the mousing over, that kind of makes sense. All right. So, let's see. What do we want here? Uh, let's see. Boomerang, knife, dagger, crystal ball. Knives it is. I see we really are just throwing kitchen knives. Alright. Knife seems like a good choice so far. Okay, so we have chili, which is duration up. Bow is speed. I'm um, assuming that's either shot speed or attack speed. And we can take some fire as well. I'm always a fan of fire, so... Alright... <laughs> Gotta say, the ability to actually just mouse over things... <laughs> seems to help quite a bit. Because <laughs> the situation you run into a lot in game similar to this is your <laughs> you get overwhelmed by enemies. And if that's not a problem, then that's gonna make things a little little easier here. Oh, I see. <laughs> Very nice. So we got some <laughs> you know, it's just occurred to me that all the enemies are emojis. Hmm, and everything suddenly got a lot more health. <laughs> okay, I think we want more knife damage to help deal with the increased enemy health. Okay, uh, let's, let's head this way. <laughs> yeah, the, the boosted knife damage is doing a lot to help us out here. Incoming pack of... Uh. <laughs> just realized, just realizing how out of touch I am with emojis. <laughs> uh, sure. We're just gonna go somewhat all in on knives. Yeah, I'm taking some hits, but... Yeah, okay. Things are getting... <laughs> starting to get a little dicey here. Uh... Sure, we'll take some daggers as well. Maybe a little extra firepower will help us keep from getting cornered like that again. Uh, so far, though, I have to say, I... Uh... <laughs> This is an interesting take on the genre. Alright. Even if I'm noticing myself taking a lot of the same upgrades I always focus on in uh, Vampire Survivors.
Okay, three to base them out, which I think just means three additional daggers, or we could throw out more fire, but... Sure, more knives. Uh... Oop. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. We got... Okay. Now, one small thing I'm actually really liking. Because you move with the right mouse button, you don't accidentally click on things in the shop. And that is very nice. See if we can't use our uh, <laughs> cursor to get rid of some of this. Uh oh, we got ghosts inbound. <laughs> All right, I want to get at this giant pile of stuff, but it's it's getting a little tough to. Uh, Punch through the crowds of enemies. Yeah, I think at this point, since there doesn't seem to be a way to boost your cursor damage, it's probably not worth actually trying to do too much of that at this point. And yet here I am. Okay, uh, rapidly fires at the nearest enemy. More cooldown. Larger daggers that do a little more damage. Larger daggers that do a little more damage. Though I think the AK-47 probably would also be a good pick. Oh no, I just noticed the cowboy emojis are here. One thing I haven't seen yet are any boss enemies. I don't know if there are going to be any bosses in the game, but I mean, we'll <laughs> we'll find out if one shows up. All right. Yeah, we'll t we'll take the AK now. Having something a little, a little more directed might help with the uh, situation here. All right, just gotta keep moving. How long have we we've been surviving for? Almost seven minutes. Wow. Not bad. Definitely not bad. We got another, <laughs> another pack of, two packs of roaming, uh, roving stuff. Okay, more base mount on that. Uh, sure. Okay. All right. It looks like those. Like, the clumps of enemies, the green ones, don't actually have all that much health. Which is good. Yeah, let's just keep it moving. That's a big group of enemies coming after me. Oh, 
Okay, I think the conga item might be bugged at the moment. Not positive. Because it doesn't seem to actually be increasing the number of things I'm shooting. Alright, right, right now my goal is to just make it to 10 minutes. Uh... Let's get the knives rolling. <laughs> Honestly, the knives have seemed like they've been the all-star this run. <laughs> but okay. Interesting. Taking one upgrade of the fire actually just doubled the amount that it's shooting. Hey, fine by me. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got a new one there. Alright, so... Uh, just need to survive. I wonder how long the rounds go. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably th up to 30 minutes, just like Vampire Survivors, but who knows. Uh, oh, that, yep, that's, that's gonna be it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this look at the demo for Hyperpop. Uh, I have to say, I like what I'm seeing so far. Like, the base gameplay is solid. It's, again, very much like Vampire Survivors, uh, with a couple extra tweaks that I like. The Some of the stuff doesn't seem to be working in this version of the game just yet, but, you know, I'm sure the devs are working on it, and it, it releases, uh, I believe, in early March. So I'm very interested to see what they do with this between now and release, and I'll probably be coming back to check it out. And if you want to check it out yourself, you can actually do so in the description. I left a link down there for you. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you in the next one.